In this course, I will present you a simulation on real-world uh, worldwide air traffic network uh, in order to evaluate the hierarchical distance and regional effect. So we developed this uh, simulations with uh, Daniele Yedri in 2010 for a presentation we made in AAG, Association of American Geographers in Washington. So the question was to identify uh, the development of processes of worldwide network of cities. We implemented on the worldwide air traffic flows from 2000 to 2004. We have a symmetric network and we simulated the creation of new links. So we, I will first present you the empirical evidence and the hypothesis, the simulation and the discussion of results. So the empirical evidence is that here it will take all the linkage between uh, cities with more than 2 million passengers. We have very few links uh, between few nodes, few airports of cities. If we take more than 1 million passengers, you see that we don't have um, a lot of nodes because all linkages remain between these nodes and some of the nodes. So we see also that the evolution of traffic um, increase for many cities here. Uh, this is the traffic evolution from 2000-2004 according to tra the traffic to of, of 2000 and many um, uh, very medium cities increase a lot and they are in developing countries but the cities who developed the their centrality are mostly um, cities that are bridge cities and are situated in these bricks or new emerging uh, cities, new emerging countries. So we made three hypotheses on the network dynamic. First, uh, a dynamic of preferential attachment, then a gravitation model or a continental effect. For the preferential attachment, so we have we take the scale-free hypothesis, and we think that uh, between existing nodes, new nodes are connected to the network, and especially to the strongest nodes. So rich get richer, and new nodes will be connected, likely to connect with, with those nodes with already many connections. So this preferential attachment creates the power law distribution with the Yule process, Simon, Albert, and Barabas. Intuitively, in our network, we had um, 2,864 new routes from 2000 to 2004, and we have 18% uh, that are in the first 100 airports, which are only 5% of all the airports. So if we make the power law between the two dates, 2000-2004, we have an increase of the slope a little bit, so more hierarchy between the two dates. For the gravitation model, we watch to the uh, percent number of nodes, the degree, um, according to the distance uh, they have uh, to their uh, connections. And then uh, we know that here we have high-speed train explaining that uh, we don't have a lot of um, connection lower than 800 uh, kilometers. Then we have a decrease of the number of nodes um, with uh, uh, the distance 
and we have here the intracontinental effect, the ocean, and the intercontinental effect. So we made an adjustment which is quite good. For continental effect, we know that it is increasing. So intracontinental traffic increased a little bit between 2000 and 2004 from uh, 83% to 85%. So we made the free hypothesis on preferential attachment. That is a better effect than Gibra model, which is only random to modelize the hierarchy evolution. The gravitation model uh, presenting a very good uh, adjustment, but um, it is criticized because it is non-dynamic and poor theoretically sometimes. And continental effect, we suppose that it is included in the gravitation model. So we made three different models. First, the preferential attachment. Second, the gravitation model. And third, the Gibra model, so a random model. We used the natural pass modeling with NetLogo software. We you, uh, defined agents are the cities, and we simulation the creation of new links. We start from 2000 in real data, and we stop when we reach the total degree of 2004, and we compare the simulation with the real data. We made an interactive model we, with the recalculation of degree at each step. And we, made, we put a minimum distance condition of 200 kilometers. So we processed in different steps. The so step one, uh, a node choose a node with random for preferential attachment. Then we calculate the degree of every other nodes. Then, three step, he chooses the second node with random weighted by the degree. So higher is the degree, higher is the number of tickets we have in our lottery to give to the probability uh, to have a new link. So the probability is proportional to the degree uh, with the competition with all the other degree and multiplied by a random effect. For the gravitation model, we used a probability which take into account the gravitation model with a random effect. So we compare with um, the, the observed uh, distribution in blue in 2004 and the simulated uh, distribution uh, from 2000 to 2004, stopping when we reach the total degree. And then we compare the slopes of the uh, power law, which is here very close to the observed one. For the gravitation model, there is a little bit more difference. Here we can see it and the Gibra model with the random. Uh, there's um, uh, almost more difference, which is much more um, uh, with, with a slope higher than uh, expected. So the preferential attachment fit better than gravitation model and Gibra model. The gravitation model includes a part of preferential attachment but even add more effect and we think that maybe the uh, the slope is quite good but the level is too low and the um, the problem is that maybe that distance could be uh, for example the cost of the distance could be more appropriated and we must include maybe strategies of companies. So we improve the evaluation of different processes and their inter interaction. This simulation on real-world network uh, can be applied on all the uh, cases. It can be adapted for the kind of network. And it's a real issue for the network development. This is a work 
in progress.